Are we doing anything? I'm bad, chilling now, hanging around the house, you know, doing what I do do. <laughs> um, I thought by now Jessica was gonna come out here and grab her shit, but she hasn't done it yet, so. I was waiting on doing Gary T's business, putting it up, because I was gonna have Jessica's too, but it's all good. I guess I'm just gonna post Gary T's special delivery today, because I have it all ready. But, like I said, I was going to add Cheska's so it wasn't just quick, quick, quick like a bunny hopper. But I didn't do it yet, so I guess I'll just deal with that. Hmm, what else can we do? Let's check on this box. We haven't opened our mindful souls. Want to do that? This is something different. This is a monthly prescription. I always do that prescription. It's my script. I'm eating this. This is my meds. <laughs> it's a monthly subscription box. Like... Boxy Charm or Ipsy or Single Swag Box and what Marianne gets. This is Share the Love. Hashtag My Fault Souls. Instagram and Facebook at My Fault Souls dot com. My Fault Souls com, whatever that means. No dot. <laughs> So, i seen this, um, advertised on the Facebook, I think, and it's like a lot of the shit I've been trying to deal with, like your aura, your positive energy, your shit, like Marianne's into, like the, um, Palio Santos wood, the light in the fire sticks, and the sage burning, and the crystals, like a lot of the stuff I've been doing, I never post my sage videos still, I'm like a slacker. It was on there still, I don't know if it is. I have to check my laptop. But I did do a sage video like a month or right around my birthday actually, I think. And um I just never posted like me looking up all the meaning of the crystals and everything. Yeah, I never posted it, I don't believe. Maybe I did. I'll have to look. But I think I ended up saving it and never posted it. Yet. But yeah, it has to do with a lot of that shit. Like crystals, healing. Elephants, like Marianne was saying, like even on the website for Mindful Souls afterwards, I found um, some stuff I was going to get her for her birthday dog. They got like healing crystals, symbol of luck is elephants, that's what her shit is, remember? She's like the elephant lover now, she wants to have elephants in the corners of her houses, of her house, so she can have like all the elephants in the room. Bringing our luck and only good luck, positive energy. It says, um, they bring elephants symbolize strength, power, longevity, stamina, cooperative spirits, loyalty, positive vibrations. They'll surround you in these gemstones. The elephant has specific abilities, and each one has their own different meaning, like so. Amethyst, or the turquoise, or the opal, or the pink quartz, you know what I mean? They all have their different meaning. So, probably try to order some of those from Marianne. You know how I do. do, do, do. So, yeah. try to open this without being on camera because I was told that my opening package it makes too much noise. Shit. 
Welcome to the Mindful Souls community. Our goal is to help people begin and enhance their spiritual practice, as well as gain spiritual peace and fulfillment. We hope you really enjoy this first mindful box, the little things, the little moments. They aren't little. Wow, let's see. A penendum amethyst necklace. Amethyst is one of the most spiritual stones, promoting love and encouraging selflessness and spiritual wisdom. Mentally, it helps you feel less scattered, more focused, and in control of your faculties. Tap into the energy of the amethyst to fuel your determination with inspiration. Remind yourself that you can achieve anything you set out to achieve with the help of clarity and amethyst. Make tuning into the energy of amethyst the first of many healthy choices in your life. Wow, look at that shit. That's at the top there. Pretty necklace, I guess I'm about to say. Looks like a lot of jewelry here. Alrighty then, where do we begin? Holy moly. Affirmation for creativity. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me. Creative, wait. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me. Okay then. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that is, but. And then we got the Mindful Soul sticker. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to assume that one of these is supposed to be the ammo because they come in these little bags. They're super cute. Look at They say mindful souls right on them. Right? Yeah, it's just hard to see my fucking face or something like that. Oh, no, that's not it. Ooh, but look at this. Ooh, I'm in love with that. We gotta wait. We don't know what that is. Shh. <laughs> See what I mean? It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big balling. Let's see what else we got, shall we? Ooh, oh, I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm trying to find it. I think this might be it. Pendulum amethyst necklace. So oh, let's find. Oh yes, look at how pretty it is. So nice, look at it. Oh, me likey. This is nice. Okay. Oh, and it gets bigger, look. Oh, shit. This shit is dope. It gets smaller and bigger depending on how you want to wear it. So let's put that on. Start channeling my inner amethyst right now. This is nice. They're pointy. Ooh la la la. So there's that. That's the first thing. So there's the little bag it came in. Okay, next. White turquoise and lava stone bracelet. Turquoise has a long considered a master healer, said to assist the absorption of nutrients while strengthening the immune system and stimulating tissue regeneration. Black lava beads is a igneous volcanic rock that is basically molten lava that has solid, solidified under intense pressure and heat. It's a stone of strength, fire, passion, and courage that brings stability throughout changes in your life. It can help you to harmonize the power of the fire within. Lava beads are porous and can absorb the oil of your choice directions we suggest applying just a drop or two of essential oils to the black lava beads the scent will last a day if not more you can use any of your favorite essential oils oh wow lava beads are perus and can absorb the oil of your choice whatever that means i've never heard of that but we'll have to look up the word i would be like okay google what's the word blah blah mean Let me do that actually. All right, let's let's cut out to Google real fast. 
Okay, Google, what is the word P-O-R-O-U-S? And what does it mean? Porous is used as an adjective to mean of a rock or other material, having minute spaces or holes through which liquid or air may pass, similarly to permeable and penetrable. Do you want to hear porous used in a sentence? Yes. Here's an example of porous being used in a sentence, layers of porous limestones. Do you oh. want to hear how porous is spelled? No, thank you. Okay, good, good, yeah. Hey, 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 how we do do? I'm back a roo -roo. I went and did the Google definition, so it was, um, what I just played. <laughs> so it is, um, like, kind of like holes in the, in the bracelet or whatever, so it can, um, absorb oil. And then I guess it'll or absorb that oil into my skin and my oils of my life will be in the bracelet, I guess. Something like that. It'll bring me and the bracelet closer together like this. I'm pretty sure that's what it shaded. That's what it shaded. Instead, it's like a hole and a blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so it was um, lava beads are porous and can even absorb the oil of your choice. Oh, I thought it said a life. We suggest applying just a drop or two of essential oils to the black lava beads. The scent will last a day, if not more. You can use any of your favorite essential oils. So, And then it looks like they give me one. Rosemary essential oil. <laughs> just in case you don't have one, which I clearly don't. I used to have one I carried in the car, actually. Considered sacred rosemary. Considered sacred, comma. Rosemary is one of the most powerful herbs and essential oils on the planet. It's native to the Mediterranean. The wooded evergreen has been used in folk medicine for thousands of years to improve memory, soothe digestive uses, relieve muscle aches and pains. It is also known for an anti-cancer and inflammatory properties. Wow. Oh, it's important to clean and energize my crystals as soon as I get them. Oh, shit. So I got to go deal with this. Allow your crystals to sit under cool running tap water for 10 to 20 minutes. If you are near a natural running river, stone can be placed in a mesh bag and left for a short time in the natural running water to get them to start to energize. So I got to go energize this. It's not even working. That's why I really didn't feel no powers yet. <laughs> So I'm going to run this under water and see what else I get first, I guess. See what else we get here before we do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. So that's, oh, Lord have mercy on my person. I'm already breaking shit, breaking shit, breaking shit. How in the fuck did you do that one? Oh, let me try to fix this before I break the shit. I got to put this on the, um, I got to glue that on. I need glue. I need my glue. So I can glue this bead back on before I freaking break it. It's the thing to pull it. I don't want to lose it. You got to pull on it to get your shit to open, bitch. Now I dropped it. Look what you did, bitch. You dropped your fucking bead. You dropped your bead for your fucking shit already. Damn them. I'm going to have to put that on a real fucking chain for fuck's sake. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so I got my fragrance oil, the rosemary. They give you an essential oil, just in case you don't have one, like I was saying. Rosemary, there it is. I'm not sure I'll like the smell of it, so I probably won't put it on my skin, but maybe, you never know. It says. Add this to water. Oh, I have to add it to water to it now. I want to make it smell, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, rosemary's not that bad. I remember that smell. Yeah, take a whiff. I know that smell. It's not bad. Okay, so I got some rosemary oil put on. Ooh, bye, 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 bye. I remember that smell. I've smelled that before. It's a little rough. It's a little rough. But it's an herb. It's an herb. So you sound the box. So it's like a doctor herb, like they say it. I read it. It's said, considered sacred. Rosemary is the most powerful herb and essential oils on the planet, native to the Mediterranean. The wooded evergreen—that's what kind of plant it is. 
has been used in folk medicine for thousands of years. I feel like I read this, but oh well. It's for digestive relief, muscle aches, pains, also known for anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory uses, and that's what it said to clean my crystals. That's what got me all fired up. I had to go clean the crystals, but I happened because I don't know if I'll get another. Maybe I won't, maybe I will, but I know I will because i seen that pointy one. So, I'll go rinse them at the same time and I'll walk, I'll let you see me running it down the drain. We're running the natural energy right on up to start the moving. Okay, so we got the rosemary oil. Next, we got a lotus flower necklace. Prized for its purity, the lotus lives in the muddy water, yet it's untouchably wholesome and clean. Thus, it reflects the highest expression of beauty. The blossom in the sun, the lotus flower, must first grow through muck and mud, a phenomenon that may serve as a moving metaphor for our own spiritual paths. Hmm, that's kind of crazy. <clears throat> The lotus flower lives in muddy water, but it's still the cleanest, wholesome, untouchable, with the highest expression of beauty. So it has to grow through all that mud and muck before it becomes like this white, big lotus flower, if it's what I think it is. I'm not sure if it's white, but I can only imagine. Well, there it is, a necklace at the top. So I got me another necklace. They want me to be tripling up on necklaces. Yeah, I need a fill already. Can you believe that shit? My daughter already chewed her paint off and everything, so she probably be all needed to fill. <laughs> My kid is rambling on and on in the hallway out there talking to Ari, so I was like, what is it? Is he talking to me? Is he talking to his brother? But he's talking to his brother, I think. <laughs> so this is the flower. I'm going to dig it out for us. Oh, so pretty, so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. So that's pretty. Yes, sir, Bob. My rings are all upside down. Weird. Um, not all of them, but the three I have on for some reason. Um, yeah, so that's nice. Lotus flower. A lot of meaning behind that. I give it away, it'll have to be to somebody who needs meaning, needs a purpose. I will put it on for now. I hope I don't have to rinse this one too. So there, we got the amethyst and the lotus flower. And we got big hoodie strings here. Hold up. There. That's pretty. Two of them. Uno, dos. Uno, dos. Uno, dos. Okay, so we got another little mini bag. So when I'm not wearing them, they can go in a bag. We got a lot of these little things. They love sending these mess makers. My cats went to town on these last time. <laughs> Had them all over the fucking place. God damn, god damn. Oh, a little dream catcher. It's so pretty. I guess we're skipping to the dream catcher. This is amazing. I love, love, love it. It's a Dreamcatcher um, keychain, but I'll lose it or break it. I don't want to have it as a keychain. I'm going to have to Dreamcatch it somewhere. Maybe in my car still, but this is fancy. I like it. I love it a lot. It's kind of crooked, but that's cool. Wow, huh? Dreamcatcher. Catching dreams, baby. We're catching dreams. That's nice. It's got the feather, too. So pretty. The colors are nice. I love it. I love, love, love it. So, that's cool. Maybe I'll put on some, on my purse or something. You know what I mean? Hang off my bag. Because it's got the hook. So, you're allowed to hook it to whatever you want to hook it to. It's hooked. It's hooked on phonics. Worked for me. <laughs> there. That's better. You are getting sleepy. You are going to have nice dreams. So 
So let's read up on that mamma. Where'd it go, Jimmy Jim? Where'd I put my card? Where'd I put my card? I lost my card. Oops, I dropped my card. Okay. The Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatchers originated in the Ojibwa people with the Ojibwa people. A group of natives of North America. It was said that dream catchers caught any harm that might be in the air as a spider's web catches and holds whatever comes in contact with it. So hang it or wear it. Dream catchers are things that bring in positivity in life and bring peace to your mind. Pretty simple. Pretty much what I thought. I thought they catch dreams, but either way. Hang it or wear it. Dream catchers are things that bring in positivity in life and bring peace and joy to your mind. So yeah, I could hang it on my bag and or hang it in the car, you know what I'm saying? Going on a trip. Hang it on my favorite rocket ship. Okay, so I skipped the rose quartz pointer crystal. So let's do that one. This is the stone of the heart. A crystal of unconditional love and infinite peace. It is the most important crystal for the heart and heart chakra. Changing the true essence of love. It purifies and opens the heart at all levels and brings deeper inner healing and self-love. It is calming, reassuring, and excellent for us in trauma and crisis. Too much work going up and down, up and down. So I brought him up. Okay, Google. Can you tell me about the Ojibwa people? According to Wikipedia, the Ojibwe, Ojibwe, Chippewa, or Salto are an Anishinaabe people in what is currently southern Canada and the northern Midwestern United States. In the United States, they have the fifth largest population among Native American peoples, surpassed in number only by the Navajo, Cherokee, Choctaw, and Sioux. Cool. Okay. So, like I said, the Ojibwa people made the dream catchers. So, we got that one done. A lot of stuff on here I'm just not sure about people. Okay, Google. So why do you um, run your crystals under running water? Sorry, I don't understand. Um, okay, weird. Okay, Google. Do you know why you're supposed to run um, healing crystals under water? On the website Healthline.com, they say, running water. Water is said to neutralize any negative energy stored inside the stone and return it back to the earth. Well, there you go. So if there's anything negative energies in the stone, they'll run it back to the earth. So therefore, we got to run them underwater to get them started, get their energy flowing, get them going. I didn't even see that white thing on the bottom before. It got like a white spot. I've never even seen it before. It's kind of bleh, that on there. <laughs> Alright, but I still got my lotus flower on. I don't think I have to run this underwater. So, okay. Back to where we were. We were at the rose quartz. I gotta dig it out. So there's this. I'm gonna hook it up. I'm gonna hang it up. Well, I'm gonna lay it down. <laughs> Okay, this might be the bracelet anyway. Let's go back to the white turquoise and lava stone bracelet, okay? The turquoise has long been considered a master healer and assists absorption and nutrients while strengthening the immune system and stimulating tissue regeneration. Ooh, baby, baby. This is fancy. Oh my god, and there's an elephant on it. Look it. That is crazy. So the black stones are the lava stones. And they have holes in them. Yeah, they do. I don't know if you can see them, but they do. But it has an elephant on it. It's crazy. Dope. That's awesome. So I'm supposed to put the rosemary on it to, um... What am I doing? Black lava beads are ingenuous volcanic rock that is basically molten lava, certified under intense pressure and heat. The stone strength, fire, passion, courage brings stability throughout changes in your life and can help you to harness the power of fire within. Lava beads are porous. They have pores. 
that's what it means, porous, obviously. I should have thought about that before. Boom, 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 bling, bling, blonde moment. Fuck. Lava beads are pores and can absorb oil of your choice. Directions, we suggest applying just a few drops of your essential oil, such as rosemary. The scent will last one day, if not more, and you can use any type of essential oils. Now, the rosemary is used for a bunch of different reasons, but improve men memory, muscle aches, pains, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer. So, you use some of this on this, mix it with your life, way of life, elephant for look, it's fancy, it's gold, and we love it long time. That's dupe, right? Got me a little elephant in the room. So sexy. I love it. Dope. It's kind of big on me, though. Alright, so where were we? At the rose quartz. So another little bag, obviously. But I'm going to put the rosemary stuff right in there so we can do that. I'm going to put it on there and do it anyway. So the rosemary's in the bag anyway. So we got one bag, two bags, three bags, and the rosemary. And we got the stick, and we got these. And now, let's dig deep. What else we got? This must be my thing I pulled out last time. This is going to be the Rose Quartz Pointer Crystal. Yep, because it's pointy. Right? This one's called Pointer Crystal. It's a pointy one. It sits like this. People have big ones like this all over their house and stuff, but this is plenty big enough to start my little prayer circle and shit. I have a lot of stuff we bought at the beach anyway, like my large amethyst and all that already, so these are just going to be added to it. I got to get a whole shelf up in here, probably a corner shelf, maybe over in the corner would be nice. So we got that little pointer, another bag. The dream catchers. Um, okay, no, I'm done the dream picture. Rose Quartz gently draws off negative energy and replaces it with loving vibes. Ooh. Carry it with you. Meditate with it. Lay with it on your body and place it in your space. The Pointer Crystal. Love, infinite, peace. Important for the heart and heart chakra. Teaching true essence of love. Purifies and opens the heart at all levels. Brings deep inner healing, self-love, calming, reassuring, excellent for use in trauma or crisis. Do, but I gotta cleanse it also to get it. Sit under cool running tap water for 10 to 20 minutes. That's gonna be next on the agenda. Oh, oh. So we got one left, and it looks like I got a Buddha. Look at that. I've never had a Buddha figure. The nail people always do, and they feed it and everything else. It's crazy. I'm going to have to learn to feed my Buddha. Okay, the figurine is for people who are either looking for peace and calm in their lives, or for those who wish to improve their own meditation skills. The silhouette of the figurine is shaped more or less like a triangle, which represents stability. It's a Serenity Buddha figurine, so I guess I don't have to feed him or anything. The other one, they always feed him, but maybe that's because, like, he's there. The Buddha, like, okay, hold on. Okay, Google, what does the Buddha symbolize? On the website, theatlantic.com, they say, the term Buddha literally means enlightened one, a knower. Do you want a little more context? Please. Yes. The teaching founded by the Buddha is known, in English, as Buddhism. A Buddha is one who has attained Bodhi, and by Bodhi is meant wisdom, an ideal state of intellectual and ethical perfection which can be achieved by man through purely human means. The term Buddha literally means enlightened one, a knower. Thank you. Awesome. So, yeah. Buddha. We got a Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. Let's look at him. Shall we now? So that's my whole entire box, dude. This is crazy, though. Shit is crazy. I don't know why they would send two necklaces, though. That's kind of weird, but still. Okay, so this is my Buddha. That's cool, all right? So Buddha, 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 Buddha. Dope, dope, dope. This is hot. So, yeah, I got a little Buddha. Put them in the corner somewhere. 
Oh, there's some wire. Nice, nice. Got the pointer. Crystal. I'm about to go run it through water right now with the amethyst. Which is right here. So pretty, so pretty. Rada, rada. And then we got the lotus necklace, which I already got on right here, right here. And then we got the upside down bracelet yet again oh it just keeps flipping obviously we got the bracelet with the oil that it absorbs to sp spice up your life rosemary to start if you have any essential oils that you think I like better than that put it below please and thank you put below and then I got a bunch of shit that I can't stand. And the dream catcher, which is so pretty, 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 pretty. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six things in the box. Dope, right? I think it's awesome. So I'll be getting another one next month, so we'll be checking out another one. let you know what I think about it so yeah we got the amethyst next list the white turquoise lava stone oh white turquoise see I never knew about white turquoise so I was wondering where the blue was no it's white turquoise I guess white or regular turquoise are considered master healers roseberry buddha dream catcher rose quartz pointer and lotus flower necklace my first mindful soul box. Welcome to the Mindful Souls community. Our goal is to help people enhance their spiritual practice as well as gain spiritual peace and fulfillment. Namaste, you bitches. Namaste. We hope you really enjoy your first box. The little things, the little moments, they aren't little. That's what it was said at the beginning. And that's how I'm going to end it. It's 40 bucks a box. Comes monthly if you want it to. Cancel anytime before the seventh of the month, I think it said. But I'm not going to cancel. I think I'm going to keep another box because it accepted the credit card to buy this. So I don't know why I didn't accept it to buy her fucking elephants. Because when I went back in to try to buy those elephants I showed you at the beginning, I kept suspending my fucking credit card, man. So I don't know. But it's already got the number for this one. So monthly. But we can't end yet because, um,. I'm gonna go run the crystals through the water before I forget. We gotta get those energized and before I try to use some non energetic crystals, you know what I'm saying? So let's go do that and then I'm out. I'm back in the big question too. Giving it to you first, my first box of mindful souls. Can't wait for number two. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is what was in box one and everyone is different, they're not the same. So if you order one, you might not get this. Just an FYI. <laughs>